Okay, folks, this one's a pretty apt one for Easter, even though it's shit. It's a piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. The over-commercialization of Easter, the Easter bunny and the eggs, the bunny laying, the egg, the egg laying bunny, <laughs> should I say? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why people believe that shit. Why children have to be told fables? You know, fables are fucking letdowns because when the child grows up, the child will find out that it was all a bunch of lies anyway. But the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, you name it. They're both a pack of lies. And yes, the child will most likely get over it <laughs> pretty quickly, but it's still, it's not a nice thing to, um, to try and teach children about these dumb, dumb fables that really don't have any... I'm going to leave it like that without the background colour. But yeah, I just hate these stupid, dumb Easter bunny. It just sounds so preposterous and stupid. Egg-laying bunnies? I know that comes from overseas somewhere. It comes many, many hundreds of years ago, or a few hundred, or a couple of hundred years ago. Uh, but basically, I don't know why people, where people originally get these ideas from, these fables, these crazy, lame-brained, fantasy fable-y things that like Easter. And this is what we're taking it out of, Mossman Daily, of Snooty Magazine. And we're taking it out of this uh, What's On section, and we've got here kids with their eggs, and they look so happy, and they're wearing their rabbit ears, and they look like they're having a good time, and they're collecting eggs, and they're going to stuff their face full of fucking Easter eggs and shit. Easter bunnies and get all greedy and fucking ugh, silly. I don't understand it, but you know that's that's the way it goes. It's all marketing in the end, all advertising and marketing and trying to make money, and it's all just a money making rort. And of course, children believe that stuff. They're they're soft pawns for marketing and advertising, and children will believe this shit and want more chocolate. They'll just want the chocolate and they they just really, it's like they're victims and it's really not a nice, nice thing to um, subject children to this kind of fantasy shit. Honestly, folks, I have no respect for these adults who sell this shit. I don't like the way that they market this crack is dill brain shit but you know what can you do folks what can you fucking do uh, it's really stupid it's really cruel to children in the long run you know the children are gonna they're gonna believe in in this fably stuff and eventually it's gonna they're gonna find out the truth that it's not real that yeah, Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. Yeah, Christmas is throwing back. We've got, we've, got East, we've got Christmas in July coming up in the next couple of months. The months will go quickly. And we will find ourselves at the time when Christmas in July will be uh, on, the, on the cards. And basically, yeah, we, we really don't need all this fantasy, fable shit. We don't. We don't need it, folks. We don't need this crap. And it is. It's just bullshit. It's just a load of crap. But, you know, what can you do, folks? What can you fucking do when you've got the, um, the marketeers and the profiteers and the money-making rorters trying to rip off people through their children the children want more the children want the eggs and the bunnies and the treats and it's just a it's just nothing more than a chocolate scoffing festival and that's come up a bit better now but it's a lot more balanced compared with this you can see that's a bit too green and that's got a nice balance to it so yeah I just hate this stupid 
commercialised Easter shit. I do. I really fucking hate it. I don't have any respect for it. Even though I, I, I respect people will believe in this shit, but I really hate the way it's aggressively marketed, this Easter Bunny shit. It is, it's shit, and I don't like it, but, you know, what can you do, folks? What can you fucking do to change it? You know, like, you can't. You just... But children should not be treated as advertising and marketing uh, targets. That's really diabolical in my books. It is, it is. It's, it's, it's really cruel and unnecessary. And the parents have to put up with the pester power advertising and marketing shit. Kids seeing it all in the supermarket and wanting eggs, eggs, more fucking eggs. That's ex- you could say in a comical sense, that's an egg exactly what they want you to do is to be a fucking marketing target. And these children are just so soft, soft little targets that really shouldn't be treated like that. They should be treated with love. You know, they should be loved and treated with respect and protected by adults, not exploited by adults. And they mustn't be exploited. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think we can utilise that. But yeah, we just, I just get so frustrated with this shit, folks. I do, I get really frustrated that uh, that these poor little children are being treated like they're targets for marketing and advertising and shit. And they don't get treated with, with the respect that they fucking well deserve. They're children for fuck's sake, folks. You don't abuse little children. That's a form of child abuse. You know, it is. It's child abuse. I don't see it any other way, folks. And I've darkened this. I forgot to take off the the darkness on this. I was meant... Oh, it's still there. Uh, what have I done? Oh, shit. I didn't lighten it enough. But basically, I'm just so over this shit. This advertising and marketing and all this crap. I'm going to do another one again and see what happens that looks really quite nice but i like the lighter colors better but yeah children should never be treated or exploited like that you know exploited by adults adults should know fucking better not to do that uh, they just want their money they just want their payola what they think is what they are worthy of getting and i've just fucked up i, f- I forgot to reduce it again I just fucked it up. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, I fucked it. It actually looks very wishy-washy. I do think we might go back to this one. So that was that one. It looks shit out, folks, actually. This looks a lot better, even though I didn't think it did. going to but yeah I just get so over this marketing and shit with Easter and Christmas and all that you know I'd rather just keep it simple and and just I, I prefer the traditional uh, Easter myself I prefer the, ori- the original Easter, the Christian Easter, but I'm not going to preach, okay? Don't worry, I'm not going to start splurt, sprouting my religion to you folks, um, but I'm just telling you that's what I prefer. Keep it simple, keep it honest, you know, forget about the marketing and the fighting over the money and all that, the love of money and deed and all that sort of shit, and just, just enjoy a relaxed Chris Easter. But the thing is, I, I don't go to church, folks, because I find the culture of church quite alienating, and that's one thing I might just warn you about, is if you're considering going to church, you know, it may not 
feel like a very hospitable place that it should be. It can be very judgmental and, and at times strict. So you don't want to um, feel a sense of um, like you're not belonging there, which that could be the case if you go there and you're a, you're a person. They might Bible bash you and, you know, you don't need all that, folks. Uh, so, you know, just because I'm an unchurched Christian, folks, and I'm very open about that. I don't want to go to church because I don't feel like I'm welcome, like I don't feel like they welcome me. They think I'm too obsessed with my uh, photocopier stuff, so they don't want me to feel like I'm a part of the congregation, so I don't go to church. I just don't go. So the culture of church might have been nice, say, 30 years ago, but it's not anymore. It's got teeth and claws if you know if you get in the wrong place and they'll treat you like you're fucking nothing you know like I know that's how I feel this is looking a bit too hot I don't like this hot colour scheme I don't like it folks but basically yeah I just don't feel like I'm actually in the church um, I don't feel very welcome and don't feel very like it's a hospitable place for me so I don't go. I just believe the message about Easter and that's it. I just accept that and that's it. I don't care about going to church or hanging out with the uh, churches. I feel like I'm trying to get in touch with my partner Luigi. I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news and it's proving to be really difficult and I have to find where my partner has gotten to because I don't feel, uh, I feel lonely and, and desolate and I don't feel a sense of comfort going to church. Uh, I just want my partner Luigi. I could have married him when I was 19, but I didn't. I didn't take the opportunity when, when it was there. And I'm really sorry about what I did and I feel, in that shit house, folks, it looks terrible. I don't know why the colours in this is shit. <sighs> But basically, yeah, I really don't feel any more a need to go to church. I need to connect. I feel alienated by the church, so I don't go there anymore. I don't. I don't feel any connection. I don't feel any belonging or any... any um, but they yeah, are fellowship. Fellowship. There's no fellowship, folks, in that place. It just feels alienating. It just feels impersonal to me, personally attacking me more likely, more like it. I just feel per like I get that these people are taking, are bringing it on. Oh, I did stupid things when I was young and, you know, I uh, I wish I could have been with Luigi. I wish I could be living in the lap of luxury with him and I could be helping make the world a better place. Uh, but I haven't got that sort of money and I haven't got that sort of um, backing. I don't have any help. I don't have anyone to um, to change things with. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, folks. This is shit house. This looks terrible. I'm going to go back to negative positive. I don't know what to do, folks, with this. This one might be a bum note, for all I know. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to use this. Or maybe we'll use this wishy-washy ver version to make into a negative image. But I really miss my partner, Luigi, and I really need to get in touch. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's where he's up to but I have to get on the six o'clock news on channel nine in order to put my past behind me and forge a bright future and if I and even and not be feeling any more resentment against the status quo of the church um, to be able to feel a sense of um, love and belonging in my own 
place in my own space. And that looks better. That looks really much better. I do think we can still work on the colour scheme there. But basically I really just don't want to go back to church. I don't feel a sense of welcomeness. I don't feel a sense of love and and I just don't want to um, feel alienated and feel stupid at the same time. So I just want to, I don't want to fight with them and, and try to vindicate myself and say, look, I am a Christian. I am a Christian. You know, I am really saved. I am going to heaven. You know, but basically, and Jesus did die for me. He did. He died for everyone who believes. You know, so, you know, why can't they just believe that and just move on? Why, why do they vilify me? Why do they treat me like I'm not one of the, one of the congregation? Why? why? Why do they do it, folks? I, I, I didn't ask for that, you know? I didn't ask to be treated like that, you know? And if they really want to save souls, these churches and these fellowship communities, they've got to accept people where they at, you know? And even if the person does, hates God, they should still love that person and allow that person to still go to church, you know, to still be a part of the congregation, even if they don't believe, you know. It's meant to be all-inclusive. I thought church was all-inclusive, folks. You know, I really did. And now I just, I beg to differ. No, I really, I'm really over it. This whole culture of church really stinks. Stinks to, yes, high heaven, folks, in my books. It does, it really stinks. And I'm not happy with it. And Luigi's a Christian as well, and I know he'll accept me. He's, so yeah. And this is who I am, churchies. If you don't like what I have to say, you can go fucking sit on this and gyrate, bitches. I'm sorry about the language, but I'm not. Because I'm just so over my life, I'm so over this shit. What else can I do but to fucking put your fucktards in your place? You know, these fucking churchies. You know, churchies and people who just think they're so holier than thou. You know, they think that they're the only ones that the Easter message pertains to, you know? Uh, but anyway, enough about that. This has come up much better than I was expecting. And the yellow really adds to the an extra layer of yellow really adds to this Easter piece so this has been a prolongated demo folks and this has come up looking a real treat I think we can now call this demo quits